Alley Cats any viewers. So today is my Blu-ray slash DVD collection which was the most requested collection video I received requests for. And you know, I've got a lot of movies, not as much as, as much as some people, but I do have a lot so this is probably going to be split up into parts. And just remember, my tastes are probably going to be different from yours so have some respect, to have fun watching and looking at my collection. And I'll just get started with the Blu-rays which are the least amount of films I have because I just now got an actual Blu-ray player a couple months ago. So first off, I'm not going to go into huge detail about these either because I don't want it to be too long. So if you want to know more about a specific movie or whatever, ask me in the comment box down below. First off is Black Swan, a masterpiece. Natalie Portman deserved this Oscar. Such a fantastic film. Directed by one of my favorite directors, Darren Aronofsky. I love it, I love it, I love it. Next up, The Fault in Our Stars, one of my favorite movies of this year. If you haven't seen it, it's a must watch. It is a tearjerker, but it's so good, so inspirational. It's perfect. Every, all the actors did a fantastic job when they filmed that. Next up is Friends with Benefits. I have watched this, but obviously not at home because it's still stream crept. But I actually really liked it. It was funny. Justin Timberlake did a, did a great job. Mila Kunis did as well. It was funny. It had Jesse Eisenberg and Emma Stone as cameos. And yeah, I laughed at it, which I don't laugh at a lot of comedic movies, so... Friends with Benefits. Funny. I liked it. Next up, one of my biggest obsessions. Frozen. I adore this movie. I can sing most of the songs by heart. I want every freaking collectible they have of Elsa and Olaf and Anna. Like, I see so much Olaf crap and I want it so bad. But this movie is like crack. So good. So good. Disney did a phenomenal job with this. I love it. Let it go. Let it go. Sorry. Next up, The Hunger Games Catching Fire. Now, this is the only one I have on Blu-ray. I have the first one on DVD. I love it. It's way better than the first movie. Fantastic. Phenomenal. Love Jennifer Lawrence. She's my favorite actress, I would say. So yeah, de definitely a must-watch series. Amazing. It's amazing. Ow. Next up, I haven't opened this actually, but this is my favorite Disney movie of all time, and it's The Little Mermaid Plat uh, Diamond Edition, not Platinum Edition. If you haven't seen The Little Mermaid by now, I don't know what's wrong. But this is a must-watch film. Oh my gosh. Just wanna be a part of your world. Bet you didn't know this is a sing-along video too, by the way. Next up is this really underrated film that didn't get a lot of promotion and it sat in development hell for like five years. But it's Margaret. It's got so many amazing actors in it. Anna Paquin, Mark Ruffalo, Matt Damon. I'm trying to think. There's so many. They're, 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 yeah, they're listed down here. But it's kind of weird. It's very long. If you watch the actual intended film version, not the theatrical version, but the actual version of the film. It's three hours. The theatrical version is two and a half. So it's a very long movie, very lengthy, but amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Anna Paquin is another phenomenal actor that I adore. Next up, one of my favorite movies of all time, Silver Lion's Playbook. Oh my gosh, Jennifer Lawrence again. Deserved the Oscar like she won it. And Bradley Cooper was phenomenal in this. Robert De Niro was awesome. I loved Chris Tucker's character. Oh my gosh, this movie is so good, so inspirational. I always watch it when I'm down. And I can relate so much to the characters. It portrays mental illness perfectly. And it's by my favorite director, David O. Russell. I love his work. Love it. Next up is The Spectacular Now. A phenomenal indie film. Shailene Woodley and Miles Teller are great. And yeah, if you like indie rom... I was gonna say rom-com. It's not really funny though. Romantic dramedies. There we go. Then watch The Spectacular now. It's phenomenal. I say most of my films are phenomenal because why would I own them if they weren't? Next up is X-Men Origins Wolverine. This is the only one I own on Blu-ray. I like this movie even though it got pretty much crapped upon by a lot of people. I actually enjoyed this. I've loved every X-Men movie that has ever come out. So yeah, I love X-Men Origins Wolverine and plus Hugh Jackman's pretty good looking. I mean, come on. Come on, Wolverine's awesome. 
you check my sauce. And the last DVD, I mean, Blu-ray I have, sorry, is Who Framed Roger Rabbit, the 25th Anniversary Edition. I watched this as a child and I'm surprised my parents let me watch it as a child because this movie is a lot, a lot more mature than what I remembered it to be. Lots of cu cursing, it's not bad cursing, but for like a five year old kid, I would say yeah. And there's just stuff in it that I didn't remember as a child. It's a very, it's very much an adult film though. And I just love it, it's a classic. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's a must watch. It was amazing for his time. Bob Hoskins was great. Now moving on to some DVDs now, first up is the triple feature, you're gonna laugh at this, of the A Cinderella Story movies and it got, it has A Cinderella Story, another Cinderella Story, and A Cinderella Story Once Upon a Song. Now these films are basically the Cinderella Story but it's based around music and they're, they're really good girly movies, okay, I, I love them, I know it's really bad that I like these. But I do. Sue me. Don't sue me. Next up, Adventureland. Indie film. It's amazing. I love it. A lot of people didn't watch it, didn't give it a lot of love and praise or anything. But, you know, I actually really enjoyed this. Everyone did a great job with their acting. It was funny. So, yeah. I recommend watching it if you like indie comedy kind of movies. It's really, really good. Ah. Next up. One that I'm kind of embarrassed to own, but it's one of my favorite films, is The American Mall. It's a musical that was produced by MTV. It's got my girl crush, Nina Dobrev, in it. And I love it. I've seen it so many times. It's crazy. I love the music, too. It's my guilty pleasure, baby. Next up, A Walk to Remember. Every time I watch this, I bawl my eyes out, but it's so good. So, so good. Oh my gosh. Classic film. Classic. Romantic. Romantic film. I don't know why I did that. I'm weird. Next up, Beauty and the Beast Special Edition. I adore this film. I adore pretty much every Disney film. And I had to have this on DVD when I saw it for a really good price at a store. So I picked it up. And I love it. I love it so much. Next up. I keep saying next up. I need to stop saying that as much. Blue State. This has Anna Paquin. I love I pretty much try to pick up a lot of movies that she's in because she's a great actress. And it also has Brick and Meyer. It's very political, which I usually do not like political movies or TV shows, but this one I like. It's funny, it's edgy, and I really like it. Check it out if you're into the kind of stuff. Political movies with a twist, I would say. Check out Blue State. It's really, really good. It's really good. And next up, another guilty pleasure. I was obsessed with this movie in middle school. I've had it since middle school. Camp Rock. I'm not even going to talk about it. Bye, Camp Rock. Sorry. Corpse Bride is next, and I adore Tim Burton films. He's another one of my favorite directors. I love how creepy and eerie his movies are, and this one's so good. It makes me cry. A lot of people are like, why does it make you cry? But if you see the end, you know why. It's just so beautiful, even though it's so creepy and eerie. It's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I adore Corpse Bride. Next up, Country Strong. This looks like a Lifetime movie, but it's really, really good actually. Everyone does a great job. It's got some pretty good music in it. Most of it's covers of country bands, but you know, there's some original songs. And the ending is just a shock ending, twist ending. It's great. Watch it if you like, you know, dramatic movies that are based on the uh, music industry. It's phenomenal. Cry Wolf. This is a horror movie that's not very scary. It's got John Bon Jovi and Jared Padalecki in it, which is why I bought this. It was also like three bucks, so it's really cheap. But it's a good watch if you like B movies, horror movies, slasher movies. Yeah, just pick it up, watch it if you like those kind of films. It's entertaining. It's not the best movie ever, but it is entertaining to watch. So definitely, definitely watch it if you like that kind of stuff. Dear John, another Nicholas Sparks movie, and I happen to love all Nicholas Sparks films and novels, so I had to have this again, an uh, another tearjerker, okay, I cry every time watching this. <sighs> Just watch it if you like Nicholas Sparks movies and books. Dirty Dancing, this is actually mine and my mother's, but we haven't opened it because we've seen it so many times on DVD, but again, uh, on TV, not on DVD. 
But again, it's a classic film. If you haven't seen it, I don't know what rock you've been hiding under. Watch it. It's just a great love story. Just amazing. Uh, next up, Dr. Horrible Sing-Along Blog. I've talked about this movie so many times. But it's directed by Joss Whedon, another one of my favorite directors. And it's got so many of celebrities I love in this. Neil Patrick Harris, Nathan Fillion, Simon Helberg. Oh, I love this film so much. It is a musical, but it's really good music. And it's really funny, and I love it to pieces. Ah! Watch Dr. Horrible if you like Joss Whedon work, okay? Or musicals, or Neil Patrick Harris, or Nathan Fillion. Just watch it. It's amazing. It's amazing. And for the last movie in this pile, we have Edward Scissorhands, another Tim Burton film, and Johnny Depp, one of my favorite actors. This movie is so touching. Oh my gosh, I felt so bad for Edward. And it's just, an, it's another classic. This is one you have to watch if you haven't seen it yet because it's so good. So good, so touching, and I just adore it. Pieces.